Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim. I'm Jim. And today on Ramblings, she made me do it. That's it. I can't. I can't believe it. I, it, it no, that's not something I do. Uh, I don't like doing it. And uh, I can't believe she made me do it. Why would you make me do such a thing? <laughs> she did it. She does it often. I do. She. That's like. You, she loves doing it. I don't like doing it so much. It's not my thing. Um, we got up this morning and went deer hunting. Did you have fun deer hunting? Did. Did you see any deer? Nope. <laughs> a couple <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> we didn't even see a bunch of squirrels. We saw a couple squirrels. What's a what's a pack of squirrels called? Is it called a pack? I don't know. Y'all out there in YouTube land, what is a group of squirrels called? Because they got a name for everything, right? A covey of doves. A, a, um a gaggle of geese and uh what was it? A, a, a squelch of squirrels <laughs> i just made that up <laughs> pretty good in <isn't> it <laughs> but yeah we got up this morning um and uh time hasn't changed yet so we got up a little bit early didn't we yeah. we, we were we were in the blind probably about a half hour before we should have been yeah i mean it was early i mean it was it it was before the sun came up and normally okay Say sun comes up at seven, like it, it didn't today, but I'm just saying pick seven. You can hunt, you can shoot uh, 30 minutes before the sunrise, the official sunrise. So that'd be 6.30. So I like getting in the stand a half hour before that. So it'd be 6 a.m., one hour before sunrise. That's that's like the minimum for me. I think we got in there like 2 a.m. <laughs> a little exaggerating, just a little bit. We sat a long while. We we did yeah yeah it was a nice cool morning um we walked out there uh you were you didn't even wear your coat did you wear your coat out there i put it on but i wish i hadn't because i got a little hot that's one thing when you're when you're hunting you always want to layer down on the you know unzip your coat uh, maybe tie it around your waist you never want to wear your your cold gear out to the stand because you'll sweat and then once you get in the stand you'll get chilled because that that moisture that's all on your body so i usually uh, uh unzip or take off my coat tie it around my waist or put it in a backpack or something and then as the morning progresses i put my put my warm warmer gear on and it'll be dry i'll be dry now it was supposed to be pretty warm so we went out there and it's always when the sun comes up it gets coldest yes. right when it's dark you know, no wind. It's actually felt pretty good, didn't it? And then, as the as as the morning progressed, and then as soon as that sun uh, started lightening, you know, lighting everything up, a chill kind of went through the forest, the woods. Ah, oh, I called it the forest. All right, Mel. All right, Gary, Anthony, Roxanne, you won me over on that one. They got me saying forest ah, out there in uh, Arizona and Nevada. You know, they ain't got no trees. So when they came out here, they said, "Oh, look at the forest." Look at the little animals in the forest. We got trees in the forest. I live in the woods, people. I'm a country boy who lives in the woods. Um, so what? So we hunted, didn't see a darn thing, uh, but enjoyed our time together. And what girlfriend wants to go deer hunting on her birthday weekend? Mine. <laughs> her idea. Her idea. But we got home. Uh, I got home yesterday. And cleaned up the ridge crib and you know got got some stuff going and she got there a little early which was good um, because I wanted to film a ramblings yesterday of us shooting the crossbow but the daylight didn't play on our side we were pushing just to get some shots in because I hadn't shot the crossbow before at all this year and this is the last weekend of both season so we got the crossbow out and we shot and uh, didn't record it. Actually, you did record one scene, didn't you? Yeah. Facebook. If you're friends with Jin Jin on Facebook or me, you'll see it. Um, I shot the crossbow, made sure it was still, and it was still pretty good on, wasn't it? Yeah. The, the, the scope. Mm -hmm. And then Jin Jin shot it. How'd you do? I hit the bullseye. I hit the bullseye first try. Goodness gracious. And then I moved, I said, well, I ain't go. I'm gonna move that target way on out there. <laughs> And I moved it out there, and she still hit within the pie plate zone, 
uh, not actually on the little bitty bullseye, but, with a, but then I gave her another bolt and she hit the exact same spot. So that tells you her precision is pretty good. Um, so that, so I knew I was on, she, she knew she was on. So we were confident in uh, going bow hunting uh, this morning, even though we ne needed uh, that skill uh, 0%. <laughs> Um, but we had fun. It was fun, good to sit out in nature and be with my girl, girl, my Jin Jin, and uh, all them, all them people out there. He's he's not a fifty-four year old man saying Jin Jin. I don't care. Just say what you want to say. Um. So we got back, and uh, somebody's tumbly was a tum a t tummy was rumbling. What about yours? <laughs> <laughs> mine was mine was gurgling. I think it was little leftovers from my uh, from my uh, uh, tummy uh, bug this week. I tummy bug's gone, um, back to normal. But uh, my 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 all the insides were like just like gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. You know. That's all I could hear. If a deer came up, I wouldn't have heard it. <laughs> it wasn't the leaves crunching, crunching, crunching. It was my belly going gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> but then somebody else's belly started rumbling. Yeah, because it was like close to nine o'clock. I didn't need anything. I had one little piece of bacon before. We you know what she did? We were, we were, Grandma Carol brought some bacon over. Said, y'all hear some bacon? She's on that keto bar stuff, so she got bacon out the ears. She brought me over a bag of bacon. And my girlfriend eats some bacon and didn't give me no bacon. I'm in a tree. I We're in the blind. And I'm like, did you eat bacon this morning? <laughs> yeah. Where's my bacon? You didn't get it. a deer. She said, oh, it was a buck. That was a buck. It was, uh, it was hit. Dead. Yeah, it was a buck. But we saw a deer today. We saw a buck. You didn't see the buck? No, I didn't. We'll see it on the way back. Yeah, it was probably a little four point. All I can see is one side. Um, that's probably that's where our deer was, right? here. If, if a four point came out, I would have let Jin Jin shoot it for sure. Because she never shot a buck. She shot a doe. Got a doe. Got a doe last year. Her first ever. Um. I usually almost always let the first deer walk of the season. I almost always let the, you know, unless it's a big buck. Right. You're, you're going down, baby. You can't let it go. No, 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 no. Um, even, though the horn, even though the antlers don't taste any better, you, know, you can't eat antlers, but uh, they sure are fun to look at. But um, yeah, I usually let the first deer walk, see if there's a buck walking behind it. Now, bow season's a little different because the bucks aren't in rut. They're not out chasing the girls and stuff, but we're getting close to it. Uh, the pre ruts uh, in. Rut should be in just a couple weeks. So um, I didn't see any, I haven't seen any scrapes or rubs. When we were walking in this morning, I was looking for the scrapes on the ground, you know, with no leaves like we saw last year. Uh, I didn't see those this year. But you gotta remember, I also cleared two acres of land right in the middle of my hunt. Yeah. I mean, we're sitting in the pop up line, what, and, and she's like, What's that white thing? What's that white thing? <laughs> Tell them what the white I didn't know we were that close to, to it. It was the, it was the shed, the power shed and the canopy. <laughs> You can see it from the pop-up line. Last year, you, we, we were we were a quarter mile from the nearest thing. Yeah. So we, were, we went around the back way. So yeah. I yeah. had no idea where we were. Yeah, we, really. we went up a logging road. I didn't want to walk up the gravel road. Walking on the gravel was loud, wasn't it? It was. So said, try to uh, walk heel to toe. Heel to toe. Mm -hmm. was, my uh, muck boots are a little bit too big for me, and I said, "Well, I'm just trying to keep the shoes on my feet <laughs> at this point." <laughs> He said, walk in the grass. I was like, okay. I did not say walk in the grass. I said, the grass may be quieter. I would never. She's like, I would never talk to you that way. I'm lying. He didn't say walk in the grass. He said, let's go get in the grass. Because <laughs> I got the grass too. Um, but yeah, we had a good morning uh, hunting, came back and went to, uh, I said, where do you want to go to eat? It's your birthday. <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> there ain't much to eat in uh little town we live near. So, uh, what'd you have? I had cheese tots and uh, junior waffles. <coughs> cheese tots? Was, they were okay. They were scalding hot to your tongue. They were alright. They were like eating pizza pockets or uh, uh, pizza bites. What are the pizza? Pizza rolls. It's like trying to bite into a pizza roll. <laughs> and uh, I had um, crispy chicken with bacon. And onion rings. And then we had the onion ring bar burps. I had the onion ring burps. But they're worth it. Mm -hmm. So worth it. 
Um, I got sleepy. You got sleepy. I I, I was cold. So I was still chilled. Yeah. So I laid down. She got on her phone. I I, I, I I got um. I was watching uh, DD5's live. We missed it last night. And uh, I started editing the septic tank video. I, I just got to pop out. I got to get. I got to get it done. I just got a little bit at a time. Um, but gotta live life too, right? Gotta live life first. Gotta work. Gotta live. Gotta take care of the birthday girl. So she lay down on TikTok and everything, and then all of a sudden I saw her. Uh, the phone hit the bed, and her eyes closed. And I went, "All right, I guess I'll take a nap too." Well, he kept yawning, y'all. He was editing like every probably five seconds. He was yawning. Exasperating yawns, yeah. like. I don't take naps. Old people take naps. I don't take naps. I guess I'm old. I guess I am now too. Um, my goodness, I uh, I set the alarm clock because we knew we had to get up, and I wanted to film a ramblings today, you know, shooting a crossbow, and uh, that didn't happen. Uh, we napped, and uh, she got up, take a shower to get ready to go, and I uh, set the alarm clock again for 30 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and I don't, I don't like the way it makes you feel when you wake up from a nap. Yeah. You wake up and it's two o'clock and your body's like, whoa, is it morning? Is it night? Why am I awake? Why am I sleepy? Why are my eyes closed? Yeah. <laughs> Not cool. I, you know, I used to work shift work nights and days, nights and days, rotating back and forth. And your body felt like that a lot. You know, like four days on nights, then you got time off, and you got four days on days. And your little body's like, "Come on, I just got used to it." But I don't, I don't do, I don't do that no more. But she made me take a nap, and now, now I don't know what time it is. It's like it's three thirty in the afternoon right now, and I'm like, ah, "Should I, should I yawn? Should I be pepped up?" I only had one cup of coffee this morning. Normally, I'm a two cup of yeah, coffee, and actually, why you so sleepy then? I'm a two. 20 ounce cup of coffee kind of guy. Work life coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Worklifecoffee.com. Go check it out. Good stuff. And that's what keeps me awake. That's what keeps me from napping. Mm. Work life coffee. Um, but we got all cleaned up and we did not intentionally dress like this. What color are you? What color is the, that, that vest? Black and gray. What color is my shirt? Black and gray. What color are your jeans? Blue. What color are my jeans? Blue. What color are your boots Black. what color are my boots Black. oh yeah We're and I and I was at Grandma Carol's getting my clothes taking a shower and she she got ready over there and come back and we're like we're that we're that couple I mean we might be well wearing a his and her shirt you know what I mean exactly. <laughs> mine mine you know we're like what, what's the uh, those birds in uh, Finding Nemo mine 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 it's mine all right, we're going out for Jin Jin's uh, pre-birthday party. Um, her birthday is actually Wednesday. She turns 29 years old. Wish her a happy 29th birthday. I wish. I wish. <laughs> um, and I'll be seeing her, and we're going to go eat at... Somebody said it's not called Holcomb. How do you pronounce it? Where Strawberry is located the town. Holcomb. You do say that? Yeah. It's Holcomb. I grew up in Missouri, and it was always Holcomb. But I didn't live near her. She lives a lot closer. So you're saying it's Hawk. 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 That's what the person said in my in the comments. Tim, it's Hawkham. Hawkham, Missouri. All right. Okay. All right. I, I, I stand corrected. See, I can be taught. I'm probably not going to remember it, but I can't. Well. Are you sure that you've ate there before? <laughs> I've eaten there several times. Just, uh, I was too busy focusing on that beautiful, delicious pork steak to to even think about how you pronounce Hockum. Is that like Hocktua, Missouri? <laughs> is that what it is? Hocktua, Missouri. Just think of that. <laughs> All right, I got it. I'll never, I'll never forget Hockum, Missouri. Hockum, Hocktua, Missouri. I got it. I got it. Hocktua, Missouri. Uh, how do you say that? Hockum. No, how do I say it? Hocktua. <laughs> I got her to say it. Hocktua. <laughs> Or just, uh, see, that's why I shouldn't take naps because I'm like, my eyes are my eyes puffy, my eyes puffy blow. 
Or my eyes puffy. I just can't. Um, let's see. Oh, so. I see, I see that hair. Ah, wrong nostril, but. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was uh, cleaning up and uh, trim. I uh, got way too much information. I know, but these people, these are my people, though, so they know. Right? They know. Um, I was cleaning up and I was trimming my nose hairs and everything. Not trying to my, try not to be one of those guys. I know my ears hair, ear hairs are, are get out of control pretty often. But, and uh, so we were we were driving. We just left, and I was like, I was like, she's like, what's wrong? I said, I got hair. And he, I missed a hair, and he's like all alone. And he's like, "Get me out! Get me out!" You know. And uh, and he, he was just picking his nose. Look, like I was picking my nose, but no, I was trying to find that nose hair that was kind of on. The way. And then just then, she's like, "Oh, there it is, right there! Right there's your nose hair." <laughs> like sticking her finger all over my nose, and of course I screamed. I that that's what you were talking about when you looked at yourself. In the no. Room. No. So we're on our way to town. Nearest, nearest real towns, like 30 miles away, and uh, we're gonna go eat some dinner and have watch a movie. Actually, we're gonna watch a movie and have some dinner because we're old, so we watch the early movie. <laughs> Take naps and watch the early movie. Oh my gosh! And we're going deer hunting in the morning, so that's why we didn't want to have too late a night because uh, I actually want to straight uh, because we're gonna go deer hunting in the morning. Um, what movie are we gonna see? Smile too. Give me your best mo uh, smile movie. Movie smile. Oh, <laughs> that looks too cute. Oh, wait. Right, maybe we gotta look at the camera right there. I did it last night. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? I can't do it. Uh, she's too cute. She, she can't give you that evil smile. You know that? Yeah, that is a little uh, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Talking about Creed, did you ever watch The Terrifier? Or that oh, white, that black clown? Yeah, to totally a cheap B movie. They actually have Terrifier 3 in the theater right now. And apparently they, they've got a bigger budget. But the best part of, of, of it is the clown, Art the Clown. He is, he's like a mime. He doesn't speak and he doesn't laugh and doesn't scream, but he makes all the gestures of it. So he's sitting there and he's like looking at it, you know, He's like, he went to a restaurant and he sat in a booth and he's like looking at the people over there and, and then she looks down, he looks back and he's like, he's like doing like poses and stuff. Oh, it's creepy. It's creepy. Uh, that's the one where he hung the girl upside down and saw her. Ugh, ugh. And, but he's laughing and giggling while he's doing that stuff, you know. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. Totally B rated or uh, B rated. It's was, it was R rated, but it's a, a B movie. But uh, apparently it's got a cult filing. Not cult, like a you know a, the you know that kind of cult, but you know like a, a, a popular following. Be like Tim's a devil worshiper, Satan worshiper. He's in a cult. No, goodness gracious, people! I don't know where you get this stuff. Um, but we're gonna go watch Smile too. I heard it's actually a little bit scary. At least uh, no, the end of it. I was told the end of it's kind of scary. The first part, you know, is, is and he, uh, Morgan was saying the storyline is really different this time really different um then we're gonna go eat what would you like to eat for your uh birthday weekend dinner i'm not sure i have to look at the restaurant so we've got a lot to choose from over here yeah. so i asked her what kind of cuisine and that will help me narrow it down but steak steak sounds good yeah firebirds is really nice if you've never been there firebirds is a nice little restaurant uh, but yeah there's tons and tons of restaurants we've been to a couple of nice ones but not yeah. not too many um and then we're going to go home and uh, take another nap <laughs> and uh, go see a movie. I mean, blah, go hunting. Go hunting. Yeah, we uh, was going to go out, but I decided not to because it will probably be dragging uh, in the morning. So, I don't even want to get up. We'll play it by Yeah, we'll play it by here. Um, anything you'd like to say to the people? Put her on the spot. <laughs> she, she did good though. She recovered from that. You know? I, 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 yeah, when people say, anything you'd like to say to the camera? Uh, and drool comes out of your mouth. Somebody was drooling while they were in the, the, taking a nap, I heard. Yeah, I, I woke up with drool. Apparently, you have a good nap if you drool, right? Yeah. And that with the, I, did, I didn't drool, but I, I, was, I was pretty out. Was I snoring? 
Uh, I heard you a little bit. Did I? I, wanna, I felt wanna, like I, well, I felt like I was snoring. Yeah. Now I wasn't snoring as much as Bobblehead and uh, poor Levi. He had to sleep with me and Bobblehead at the fishing uh, oh, thing. No. And uh, Levi said he didn't hear either of us. I don't know how. Like, the boy went to bed like at eight o'clock. Like why did kids go? I mean I don't. Yeah. Kids today are different. I was his age, man. I, was, I didn't even. Did, I only ever slept. One or two. Yeah, two, one or two. I'm oh, my goodness. Afternoon. <laughs> Went to bed. <laughs> oh, it's just uh, this generation. No, yeah, I am. I am getting old, and I'm okay. All right, guys, we are almost there. I'm gonna uh, get a thumbnail for this and uh, get it up to you. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. It's well, it wasn't shooting the crossbow like I wanted, and uh, but maybe tomorrow. Ginger and I will do a live stream, a vertical live stream, so watch it on your cell phones. Uh, and I may even do it on Ridge Life, because I didn't get a Ridge Life video out. I might do it on Ridge Life, uh, of us bottling the honey and just talking to you and stuff. So be on the lookout for a live stream tomorrow in the vertical format. So if you see a live, grab your phone and go bloop, like this. That's all you gotta do. Because it'd be like a little skinny part of the screen. You're like, Tim's got it all messed up. No, just turn your phone, and if you got lock, if you got lock turned on your phone, lock display, you may have to unlock your display so when you rotate it, it will read vertical. Just like watching them, that their TikTok all them their kids watch. Do you have to use your cell phone to record it to get it like that? Uh, no, I can use my good camera, but we'll use the cell phone. Yeah, I'll, I'll use cell phone. I mean, it can turn the GoPro sideways. No, it's live though. I'll just, you know, I'll do it on the phone. Yeah, it'll be fine. I gotta make sure I remember to charge my phone. Though, so yeah. That would not be good. All right, guys, so until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. I'm so sleepy. This nap just messed me up. <laughs> Love y'all and go Ridge Live.